Hi friends on YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to get back into the mini mill. Um, I've had a break, um, COVID-19 hit. I got some good stuff done on this and then it got warm out and, and I have an old Jeep that I love and uh, every spring it takes more time than I care um, to keep it in good condition. Um, but so with my my day job and my side business and my Jeep, this project took a little back seat. Um, but now that winter time is here, I am expecting to finish it before the springtime. So what I'll go over today is I got the scraping done. I did a little more. I'm not going to show you that. You saw enough. Um, but now I'm mocking up where the motors are going to go and I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit so you can see. I have the motors positioned. I'd like to not have the y-axis motor sticking out here and the x-axis motor sticking out here because as you can see I have a really small shop. This is a two-car garage a small old two car garage at that. So this extra three, four inches is kind of a big deal. Um, so I think I have a configuration here that I kind of like right now. Um, this motor would be, these are just some spacers, but this motor would be sitting right here and it would go back and forth like this. And it, and it clears, it clears the one below it because when the table's over here, uh, this one moves with the table. So I got a couple parallels there. I put them in there and there would be a, a plate that mounts here. And then I have to get pulleys, a pulley for here, a pulley for here. I'm choosing to do pulleys to drive this instead of direct drive. Uh, there's some advantages to that that I like. And uh, one of them is to be able to move the motors. So this is this is what I'm looking at right now. Um, I'm gonna skim a little material off here to make this surface be square with the top. So that way this motor down here is parallel and perpendicular to the table. And likewise on the end of here, I'm gonna have to do that. So I'll show you that in another video. Uh, I need to get uh, timing belts ordered and pulleys. And uh, I did look into those a little bit this spring. I need to do a little more research. Uh, if anybody has any advice on what they've used for pulleys and belts, um, leave it in the comments. That'd be great to hear, um, but yeah. Welcome back to my channel, and um, boy, if you, if you haven't done it already, please like and subscribe. Um, it helps me out. Thanks.